切生命，是众生离苦的乐。若是佛法的大慈大悲，世间佛陀的独生本怀。接下来，请收看。法王慈悲开示。
We will continue with the teachings on the Torch of True Meaning from where we left off yesterday. Yamdoyevelamasinsayalamasunchilamnijudi. <laughs> Nane Lamekura Tichi Lama Even if you are not able to hear the Dharma from a famous guru such as a lineage holder, if you take another guru who has experience and realization as your root guru, you will receive the blessings. Whether the guru is actually an ordinary being or an emanation of a Buddha or a Bodhisattva, if you pray to him while meditating that he is a Buddha, all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas and Yidam deities will enter the body, speech and mind of that Vajra master and work for the benefit of beings. From the Mukhagama of Manjushri. Any sentient being who belittles is a Vajrabera of the future, belittles me, so therefore I abandon them for all for a time. And I dwell in his body and receive the offerings of other practitioners, those who please and will purify the karmic obscurations of their own being. Thus pleasing your guru pleases all the Buddhas. If you commit a wrong against him, it is no different from committing a wrong against all the Buddhas. Also, if you offer to him, you gain the same merit as from offering to all the Buddhas, and your obscurations will be extinguished. Innumerable sutras and treatises say that our attainment of Supreme Siddhi depends solely upon the Guru, and that immeasurable benefits accrue through our devotion and offerings to him. It says in the Tantras, Meditating on a hundred thousand deities' bodies is not worth even a hundred thousandth part of focusing undistracted on the Guru's body. Reciting the approach and accomplishment a hundred billion times is not even a hundred thousandth of the power of supplicating the Guru thrice. Meditating on the uh, completion phase for eons is not even a twenty thousandth part of the Guru merely appearing in, the, in your mind. From the clear lamp, 
child of noble family, greater than the mass of all the Bhagavan Buddhas who dwell in the ten directions and the merit born from the Vajra body, speech, and mind of all of those Bhagavan Buddhas is the merit of a single pore of the master. If you ask why this is so, child of no noble family, bodhicitta is the essence of the Buddha's wisdom. Generally speaking, there is no difference at all between a guru with whom you study the sutras of the Mahayana and foundation vehicles and a guru from whom you receive the transmissions and instructions of the secret mantra, other than a slight difference in their significance. When we talk about gurus against whom you can commit the root, first root downfall and break samaya, this depends upon yourself, so such gurus are not necessarily identified as your root guru alone. Once you have received a tantric empowerment, you must guard against the first root downfall for all the gurus with whom you have dharmic connections. Thus, no matter how much or little dharma from the sutras of the tantras you may have received, from then on it is important to not accumulate any misdeeds. Even if you have no dharmic connections with, uh, to them, the lineage gurus may, uh, may not be your own gurus, and thus you may not be able to commit a downfall with regard to them. Even so, it is never right to belittle or criticize them or so forth. Chugor <laughs> Go catchinum, Shingyuan Generally, do not examine ascension beings' faults. Know them to be your mothers. Be grateful and meditate on loving kindness and compassion. In particular, do not analyze the faults of anyone who has started to practice Dharma. Knowing that we are like people in the same boat, think only of their positive qualities rejoice and have devotion. Especially do not examine the Guru's faults. It says in the Noble Sutra of the Mudra engaging in producing the power of faith. Criticizing a single Bodhisattva has greater negative consequences than stealing the possessions of all the sentient beings in the billionfold universe and destroying all the stupas. Those who, due to whatever circumstances, develop contempt for and revile a bodhisattva will be reborn in the wailing hell with a body 500 leagues in size and 500 heads, mouths and tongues, and each of their tongues will be plowed by 500 plows. Thus insulting holy beings is an incalculably great offense. Insulting bodhisattvas in particular and yogis of the secret mantra especially is far graver. Furthermore, we do not know who may be a holy person or who may be practicing yoga internally. It is said that other than a perfect Buddha, no individual is able to truly measure another. The speaking badly of and criticizing anyone else sweeps away your own positive qualities. Examining faults in others is self-destructive by nature, so it is important to post a watchman to s examine solely your own faults. We can see now that many undesired things befall everyone who lacks faith in the Guru and perceives Dharma practitioners impurely. Others see them as adversaries. They die in unpleasant ways amid ill omens. 
they are the target of everyone's criticism. But all those who respectfully serve a guru and perceive others purely are naturally happy and have good reputations. Everyone praises, respects, and reveres them, and they die in pleasant circumstances amid excellent omens. These things we can see and hear for ourselves. <laughs> Mugumenachilabiemi Sangi Yidam, Guyu Homason, was a chair, Rana Shemi, Madun, Suma, too, Kadin Jaya, Lame, Zebale, Hadze, you may, Devis and get home about Tata, Children of Sangi, Lama Yidam, Father Mabel Shune, Milam, Jigang, Jay, Gabba Mabel, Tala, Sayalam, and the Sesi Luigi, the Sangi, Tap Salaman, or whatever, Luso, Judo, like the Cutting Quarter Made on Yamba, the Ni, Shedda Sansigan, and his Tula Davis, Lama Tay. Gana in the words of the Kaju forefathers, if you see the Guru as a Buddha, you will receive a Buddha's blessing. If you see him as a Bodhisattva, you will receive a Bodhisattva's blessing. If you see him as a Siddha, you will receive a Siddha's blessing. If you see him as an ordinary person, a good spiritual friend, you will receive the corresponding blessings. If you have no devotion for him, you will receive no blessing whatsoever. First, thus there is no other Buddha to be found elsewhere who is superior to your own root guru. He is the combined essence of all the jewels throughout the uh, ten directions and three times. The positive qualities of the jewels are limitless and all of them are the manifestations of this root guru. Not only that, all the individuals everywhere who are now working for the benefit of beings, the sun and moon, herbal medicines, and even boats and bridges are the Guru's display. Considered anyone who has given you an empowerment, transmission, or instruction, even those who taught you to read and write, to be an expression of your root Guru. In short, resolve that he is a Buddha. Second, no matter how amazing the Buddhas, Yidams, and Kaju forefathers are, you have not seen their faces. You have not heard their speech. Even if you were to meet them, they could do nothing greater than what your guru does. Though there have been countless Buddhas in the past, an infinite Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Gurus, and Yidams now dwell in the ten directions. You have not had the fortune to meet a single one of them, even in a dream. But this root guru is teaching you the complete and unmistaken methods for attaining Buddhahood in one lifetime, in one body. Even if you ground your whole body into dust, you could not repay his kindness. Third, it should not be that you think about your guru when he pays attention to you, giving you teachings, gifts, and so forth, but forget about him when he is far away. You should not remember him when illness or for misfortune occurs, but not when you are well. When you are walking, pacing, lying down or sitting, whether you are happy or sad, at all times, no matter what occurs, think of nothing but the Guru. Fourth, it should not be that you occasionally think of your Guru and say, I go for refuge, or that you consider it amazing to recite a few supplications. Moved to tears, and your hair is standing on end, your longing should be so fervent that it is able to suddenly cast awareness aside stop ordinary appearance and produce an unidentifiable experience. When these four are present, that is the authentic notion that makes you able to receive blessings and develop, suddenly develop realization. The key to, uh, to the rapid receipt of blessings is to meditate on the Guru as a Buddha. Um.
天上生活的那么出过见不了没有这次我真的七八年的转化的年轻我真的没给拉嘛没给拉嗯真的天上天一年不有的经过看到看一眼做的也没多大个可能我不想想天上天一天一人在家里拉面的就给来说到不拉到
ne sumne vesar kamathin sum the tinde gone ta a tumbe wan ta sawe wan ta shirbi shi ji wan to en tamad le a mm yanga paji ne sum marbe and Baji Vesari Chone Energy Wanshi Vesi Tora Tene Untama Lama Rasin the Yemen to Jaya the Mavachare Tan Digi Ting Hazu King or the Shuni Tan Julia Digi Kocho Yesu So we imagine that from the Guru's three places, the uh, forehead, throat, and heart, there radiate out white, red, and blue lights. Uh, and by these lights radiating out and dissolving unto us, we receive the vase, secret, and prajna wisdom empowerments. In the end, uh, the light radiates out once again from the Guru's three places. Uh, and uh, through this light, we receive the fourth wisdom, or the wisdom of the fourth empowerment. Finally, the guru and our, the, the guru's mind and our own mind mix inseparably. Uh, and if we do this, this is effectively uh, entering the mandala and receiving the self, the self empowerments. Yeah. Madulia, Madula, Tuni, Chiro, Tuni, Sen, Tunish, Jen, and Yamnichawa. Now, Kashi, you tuned lemon and you sat me on the order. Tun Tudu, Jen, and Yamnicha. One of Chenada, let Hamuba, then a summer of the dead Nishawa Kulia, Tun Tudu, Jen, and Yamnicha, the Awyers. Karasana. See, <coughs> One of the Jara, two shilling of Minshaw already, in other two shilling of Minshade, a cow should do. And the ring is done, the matter, the Nimazilia, and the Sarcin of Minshaw, Kesim Chario. So, with our four session guru yoga, actually, it's a practice that is supposed to be that we are supposed to do in the four sessions. This would mean two sessions in the morning and two in the afternoon. Sometimes we also have six session guru yogas and these are practiced in six sessions during the day. Actually for beginners, uh, uh, when we do retreats, doing uh, six sessions is good. The reason for this is that uh, even though there's a larger number of sessions, uh, their duration is shorter. And so this is somewhat easier for beginners. Uh, the four sessions is sometimes a little bit difficult for people. Uh, and so in this way, we can either do a six-session guru yoga or a four-session guru yoga. Uh, in any case, it is important that uh, sometimes it's even difficult for us to do uh, four sessions of it per day. So at a minimum, we should at least do this once per day. Mm. Tunzu Chen in Yamisha, Yunze Karasana, Chanju Sembe Zadung there. Tana is sung out Zadung the Zoo, Zadung Chube Gaza, Sang Alia, Gora, Tamsilia, Yamza Chube Golia, and Tunzu in Dana and Daji. Yambasoadi, a Kalahavur Chadi is rare. Chesa di Yuzen Dene 
kazuye. Tünzüyle madde konuda, tünzüyle diyana zaten çağırdı. Tünzüyle madde konuya zaten miyoruz? Sonra da tadı nüzinza, sonra da diye yandı ya, yandı yarı çeza, diye yüzünden tünzüyle niye ben çağırdım? Doğru evre. Now the reason why we practice for the durations of um, uh, for the sessions, or why we divide our practice into these uh, sessions, is that with the root downfalls of the bodhisattva vow, and also for the root downfalls of the secret mantra, or for violations of samaya, uh, if we uh, uh, if it goes beyond the duration of one's uh, session between the time when we commit the downfall and when we restore it then it's difficult to restore. It's said that if we, uh, uh, that if we, if it goes beyond the duration of one session, then it becomes a root downfall. If it does not go beyond that duration, then it is not a root downfall. Uh, and so this is why it is important. Uh, this is why we should practice uh, for the, uh, in sessions like this. <laughs> Tada in brief, the most important thing is, as I described yesterday, with our root gurus, is that we do not see the root guru as being a single individual. Instead, we need to uh, uh, imagine that the root guru is the union of all of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the Ten Directions, the union of all of the... Uh, gatherings of deities in the mandalas. Um, so we, uh, it is impo- uh, we think that he is the union of all of the jewels. ゲージも差でやれ。カレーさん。でも食べようもたんがらんじゃった。じ、でもディ、でもれ。んでにんじゅさん、ティキュゼンテね。ミセド。だじ。ダジャオでも通じじゃんだ。んじゃんがさやら
is the founder of Buddhism, and so for that reason it is especially important to consider our teacher to be inseparable uh, from the compassionate Buddha Shakyamuni. Likewise, it's also extremely important that we consider our own root guru to be inseparable in essence from, uh, from Lord Gampopa, especially when we are practicing Mahamudra, it is important to consider him to be in, them to be in, inseparable. From one perspective, this is because uh, Gampopa is the, you could say, founder of the Dakpo Kaju lineage. He is the progenitor, the founder of the Dakpo Kaju, and without Gampopa, there would be no Dakpo Kaju lineage. So he is like our founder or progenitor. Uh, and in particular, uh, uh, Gampopa was also predicted um, uh, when, when uh, prophesied by the Buddha uh, to, to spread the teachings of the Buddha. And so for that reason, especially when we are practicing the Mahamudra preliminaries, it is important for us to consider uh, Gampopa and our root Lama to be uh, inseparable in essence. Ngajitamadosan, it's also important to consider our root guru to be inseparable from the, the teacher of the secret mantra, Vajradhara. Actually here we are visualizing uh, what, uh, one who is in our essence, the root guru, and in form, Vajradhara. Um, so it is particularly important to uh, think of our guru as being the, the teacher of mantra Vajradhara. Uh, so we imagine uh, that, uh, that the guru is inse inseparable from our teacher who arises in the form of Vajradhara. And this is uh, because of the uh, cl uh, close connection with the mantra teachings. Uh, ตาเอ่อกระสวยตาได้ก็สภาวะเป็นน่ะกระสวยตาจิกรรมกรรมสร้างกิเจริญจุกรุเดยมีน่ะอันนี้ที่กรรมสร้างงวดเสวะกบล
是是没把也把这个喇嘛当这个看他这语言喇嘛他们这个你把这个都懂呢，啊，他真的这个团呢他，呃，可是，呃，木鱼看几几都不知道，他这个台北看几几都吃的，搞的那边那就两边吃的，规定做的天天就没差。The main thing is that we need to uh, develop as much devotion as we can. We need to gather all of our forces together. We need to gather all of the forces of the, uh, of the root and lineage lamas together and use them to develop as much devotion as we can, to develop as much faith as we can. This is the primary purpose of Guru Yoga practice. <laughs> Nghe ta tsa wea la ma tsa wea la ma tsa 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 Who is the root guru? And, this is, uh, and the reason I'm asking this is because many people come and they, and they say to me, Who's my root guru? Tell me who my root guru is. え、みんなよ。で、ざわらまさで感じです。シェビンだ、コデブルチシェビンだ、ダブルチシェビンだ。ジダンギ。うん、ジ、あ、ジュチュニャムリチンゲ、ジュチュリア、え、ジュトソン
ตาจีสินทานิโยเยเมอันนี้สินทานิโยเยเมอันนี้จีสินทานิโยเยเมอันนี้จีสินทานิโยเยเมอันนี้จีสินทานิโยเยเมอันนี้จีสินทานิโย